All right, Shalom. It's Brother Kabai back with another GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing. Before I go any further, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible and rule well. Another Shalom to all the sincere Akims throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. All right, I'm not quite sure I'm going to title this lesson. <clears throat> Um, but it's going into a vision, a dream that I had, you know, another one, <laughs> um, the Lord seems to, uh, give me visions, man. And, um, I initially wasn't going to share this vision, but, um, I was watching this lesson by the elder Manantazar bar down in South Carolina. And, um, you know, the Lord put the spirit on me to, uh, to bring it out, man. You know, just goes to show you that we don't, we don't run nothing. This is the Lord's, uh, the Lord's show, right? So, um, I'm going to go into the, uh, to the, to the, to the dream and, um, I'm going to play some of the, um, lesson that the, uh, the elder did. It said, what we should, what should we do if they come for us? <laughs> and it's crazy because it, this, uh, this lesson was, uh, uploaded a day ago, Right. And my vision happened a day ago. You know, it happened the other night. And so, I, you know, like I said, I wasn't going to share it. But when I watched this video, the Lord put the spirit on me just to have to share it. So, the, um, in, in, the, in the dream, I'm at my parents' house. And I'm like, you know, what am I doing at my parents' house? But anyways, I was uh, upstairs in their bathroom. And um, my mother was like blocking the top of the stairs from you know the bathroom like she was like at the top of the stairs and then there's like a bathroom off to the to the to the right of the stairs and um i was just like standing there and uh like these troops came in came in the house and you know they're they're searching all over the house and you know she's like trying to like hide me or whatever but i'm like you know it's okay i like to tell no it's fine it's fine it's okay it's okay and um they came up the stairs and they they looked at me and they looked at me real strange and they just looked at me and they said no nah, this is not the guy this isn't him this isn't him you know and after that you know i can't remember what happened else but it just made me think about you know something that the elder said in this lesson and i'll probably grab a precept or two and closing on out all right make it out of this thing unscathed i mean of course you're gonna go through something there it is you gotta start hey you know lean on these promises that the most High wrote about man this is gms louisville kentucky Job 5 23 for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee and esau is a beast right well it really just means they ain't gonna get you they're gonna get somebody else at destruction and famine thou shalt laugh and and that's the point right there <clears throat> You know, they was coming to get me, but they, the the Lord put, you know, an image in their mind to where they didn't see me. They saw someone else. So they pretty much let me go. They pretty much let me go, man. And that was that was a a, a faith booster that you have by Shimia Rashad. Obviously needed to let that I needed. You know what I'm saying? That I personally needed, man. You know, and hopefully this would be a, a a faith booster to uh to one of the hopeful elects, man. You know, don't worry about when that flood comes in, man. You put your trust in your how about she me, I was shy. And look, if you're part of the elect, you will be delivered, man. You gotta have that faith, man. You know? You gotta have that faith, man. Let's go to, uh... Let's go to uh, the book of Sirach. And I'll start at 10. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I'll start at, uh, <laughs> I'll start at, uh, uh, let's see what I'm going to start at. I'll start at 8. Point is in um, 10 and 11. The Sirach 2 and 8, it says, Ye that fear the Lord, believe him. And your reward should not fail. What's that reward? Deliverance, man. Right? 
We want to be delivered in the time of Jacob's trouble, man. We want to be delivered in them chariots, right? But it starts with fearing your heavenly father, man. Okay? It says, uh, and look, it says, believe him. You got to have faith, man. You got to have faith in the Lord. Let's come back to that. Let's get faith, man. Because the Lord said it's, it's impossible to, uh, to please him if you don't have faith, man. Right? This is Hebrews 11. And one, it says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So faith is believing on something that you can't see. And we can't see Yahweh by Shem Shai, how he actually delivers us or saves us. But we know right through the scriptures that he's going to protect the hopeful elect. And you got to believe that you're part of the hopeful elect, man. You know? You got to believe that you're going to be protected and beamed up out of this, out of this hellhole, man. Verse 6, it says, but without faith, believing in something, right? Let's get back to it. Believing, right? It says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, right? Got to believe in your how by Shem Shai, man. It says, but without faith, it's impossible to please him. So you can't please the Heavenly Father if you have no faith, man. The Lord's not going to deliver someone who's faithless, man. Right? It says, for he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is, that he what? He exists. And everything he spoke on the scriptures, he's going to come through on. Right? And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. How do you seek the Lord? Through his prophets. Right? What I had apostles and elders, a great millstone. Right? That's how, that's how you seek the heavenly father. Through these scriptures, there was men that he has set up to teach you. Right? So going back to uh Sirach chapter 2 and 8, right? Yeah, Sirach 2 and 8. I'm in 2nd Ezra, so I get <laughs> I was reading uh 2nd Ezra earlier. Sirach chapter 2 verse 8 It says ye that fear the Lord Believe him Right <clears throat> And your reward should not fail Ye that fear the Lord Hope for good And everlasting joy and mercy And that's what we hope for Hope goes back to faith There's some They, they, they go hand in hand It starts with fear in the Lord. It tells you that in Ecclesiastes, the, uh, the 12th chapter, man, around 12, 13 verse. The whole duty of man is to fear the Lord and keep his commandments, right? It's going to be a reward for that, man. It says, ye that fear the Lord, Sirach chapter 2, verse 9, hope for good. And we hope to be delivered. We hope to be protected, man. You know? Building up them, them heavenly treasures, man, so we can cash in. Right? It says, and for everlasting joy and mercy. Here's the point in verse 10. It says, look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? All the prophets called upon the Lord, man. Right? You got Meshach, Shimrach, and Abednego in the fiery furnace. Right? Daniel, when he was thrown to the lions. Right? And that's how you got to look at it, man. The Lord said it. The Lord's of your, the words of your how about Shimei was shout of faithful and true, man. You can't forget that, man. It says, for the Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Long suffering, very pitiful, and forgiveth sins and saveth in the time of affliction. So, when you think it's the end of the road for you, man, you got to have faith that your how by Shem Yahweh is going to deliver you. You know, you got to have that faith, man. You got to have that faith, man. If you're lacking in it, pray for more faith, man. You know, 
But, you know, this is just a little quick lesson, you know, I just wanted to share, you know, on the vision that I had. And I was watching Elder Manat Zabar's uh, lesson on, um, you know, what are you going to do, you know, if they come for you? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, how about Shimia is going to be with the hopeful elect, man? You know, so with that, Lord willing, this is edifying. Before I go any further, I like give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us His truth according to the Bible and Haru Well. Another shalom mom to all the sincere I came throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing His truth through diligence and sincerity. Shalom.